Hey guys, what's going on? It's Sean of Third Relify, and I hope you're having a beautiful day today. This story is a glamorous female teacher. Wait a minute. Is this the same video as the last one? No, I told you. The Daily Mail uses the term glamorous for just about every female criminal there is. Look, glamorous female teacher took underage student on 15 dates to casino and mall where she made out with them until she was aroused, cops say. Glamorous Missouri math teacher Haley Clifton Carmack admits having sex with students and leaving her mark. It's all, it's always, there's, there's, there's a story about a glamorous woman who drove and crashed her car. There's, they use the word glamorous all the time. I don't know, it's weird. Anyways. Talking about this story, this one's going to be quick. It's is an interesting. It's five out of ten interesting. So we're going to make it. We're going to make it go. Um, we're going to make it go fast. A female teaching assistant working at a Las Vegas high school was arrested for allegedly taking an underage male student out on several dates and making out with him, getting so turned on that she could barely control herself. I would say if you're taking a, a, an underage student on a date, you're already not controlling yourself. And if you're then making out with him and touching his business, you're already not controlling yourself. Just saying. Anyways, teacher Jerusalem Garcia, 20 years old, was booked into Nevada's Clark County Detention Center on August 23rd and charged with one count of contacting or attempting to contact a minor for the purpose of sex, according to court records. Police said Garcia, who was employed at El Dorado High School since 2021, admitted to going on dates with the boy and making out with him in secluded areas. Garcia also told police that while kissing the student, she became aroused to the point that she wanted to have sex, but didn't because of his age, according to an arrest report. Wow, why stop there? I mean, you're already breaking the law. You're already not going to be a teacher after this. So, I mean, why not just go all the way into a sanity? You're stepping on the doorstep. I'm genuinely glad that she didn't. So for anyone wanting to see, oh, well, how pretty is this one? Eh, I don't know. You, I, you, it shouldn't matter. It shouldn't. Why does it? Because people are fucked. Anyways. Moving on, Garcia told uh, police that she was in a loving relationship with the boy and said that she wanted to pursue it further even after being arrested. Now, this this falls in into uh, an incredibly slim, very narrow line of um, cases, and I, I have genuinely covered one of these, and I actually I felt bad for the teacher. Um, she was she was incredibly young. This girl is 20. This, this other girl was like 22 or something. The student was like 17, about to be 18. And it's like, you dumb bitch. You couldn't wait like two months to get it in. You had to do it now while they were like under your power and, and authority. You stupid woman. And they, they were two people that genuinely liked each other. And it's like, you just couldn't wait. This girl is 20. So she's even younger than the than the th that other one. So far, I don't think we know how young the student is. If this student was like really young, then her being 20 doesn't matter. But if this student is like 17 and like a half or a 17 and 3 quarters, it's not the worst. And I'm more so mad that they're stupid. Like geez, you can't wait you genuinely like them? Just wait. She was allegedly still messaging him after she gave her witness statement. Garcia has been placed on leave with the Clark County School District Police Lieutenant Brian Zink saying there is no indication of sexual contact between the teacher and the student. The investigation was spurred by an anonymous tip from a student who claimed her ex-boyfriend was in a relationship with Garcia. Oh, shit. A spurned lover. Scorned lover? Well, revenge, anyways. The alleged victim told police he was in a relationship with Garcia since May 2024 
adding that he met her at a party and exchanged Instagram usernames so they could direct message one another. It's always Instagram or Snapchat, though always something like that. He said he went on 12 to 15 dates with her over the last three months and confirmed that they made out with each other. It was her decision to meet in hidden places so they wouldn't be caught, according to the students. Their first date was in a mall. Oh, do you guys remember mall dates going to the mall? I remember going to the mall and had the, it had like a had like a movie theater like in the food courts. Oh, such a great mall. And you could tell it was designed, probably designed in the probably late 70s because it was designed for the 80s or whatever. So it, look, it, it looks extremely dated, like 80s, the outside of it with all the, of, of, all the design features on it. Oh, Westmount Mall. Goodness. Anyways, um, their first date was a mall date. It was so nice. So nice mall dates. And their latest scheduled outing was set for the second week of August. At Sam's Town Casino. If it's in a casino, like, how old is this kid? If he's 18, then this is just such a non-story. Garcia knew when the student became aroused because he seductively grabbed her buttocks by squeezing them with his hands. Police wrote in the arrest report. Garcia would allow this to happen until she became aroused and in the mood for sex. She then would have urges to have sexual intercourse with the student but refrained due to the student's age. If he's 14, this is just full stop bad. Just, just saying. The two are said to have li uh, lied in a bed while cuddling and rubbing each other's backs and shoulders. Some of Garcia's text messages to the student included, I love you, I'm scared of the relationship, and I'll stick with you forever. Garcia posted bail and awaits her first court date on September 30th. Well, what do you guys think of this one? I mean, it's good that she didn't go through with, with, with the sex. And it's hard to say how serious this story is because we don't know the student's age. It, it could just be a, a thing of, of she just violated the position of trust and authority because she happens to be a teacher. But she's 20 years old. She's, I mean, I guess she's not actually a teacher. She's a teacher's assistant. Like, I mean, she is as... Young as the students leaving high school. I don't know. This one could potentially be just um, a boy and a girl are too stupid to wait before getting handsy. Or, um, I don't know, maybe something seri more serious. I don't know. Anyways, thank you for watching this video. I love you all. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. Peace. Peace.